Joined by Southwestern Oklahoma State. Coach, if you'd give an opening statement, and then we'll open for questions. Um, we came out fighting. You know, we came out, and, and I thought we played well, had a good game plan. Uh, wanted to limit 25, big, big uh, number 25 with his touches and double him on a dribble. And we kind of, we didn't do a good job of that. He ended up with 20 in the first half, and then we let the shooter get loose. And uh, I think he's still making them, number, number 21. Uh, but kudos to them. Uh, we came out with a great game plan. I thought um, first half uh, discrepancy and fouls hurt us. Um, but other than that, I, I thought we clearly outplayed them in the first half. And then second half, they clearly outplayed us. We got a lot of the same shots. They got, got a lot of open looks, and we shoot 20%. And that won't get it done, particularly on the road against a good team. So proud of our guys. Our effort was great, uh, especially in the first half, the way we came out like fighters. And um, just second half, just didn't have enough juice. Had a lot of guys in foul trouble. And um, just got beat probably by a better team. <clears throat> they were better tonight. And we're open for questions. Chris, you guys obviously were hitting the three in the first and didn't so much in the second. How much of it was defensive adjustments by them? How much of, how much of it was just you guys cooling off a little bit? Just cooling off. We got hit open shots. Uh, like Coach said, first half we was hitting. We was making good shots. We was making good plays. Second half, they, they came in a 1-3-1, one, one, and we would cut, cut through the defense, have open corner threes. Yeah, we hit a few, but we should have hit more. Um, I also say we should have we should have shot better from the free throw line. Um, and we got to hit, we just got to hit layups and jump shots at the end of the day. It's just a game of basketball, you know. So, yeah, we had to cool down. We just got to gotta get better, you know. Coach, how, how big do you think that run was at the end of the first half? I mean, maybe oh, you huge. had a six, seven point lead still yeah. at halftime. Maybe it could have been a different game. Yeah, it was huge. Um, the only way they could guard us was to get in that zone, which is a compliment to our players. But at the same time, they, they're going to make us make open shots. Man, we talked all year about making open shots, and we've been up and down shooting the ball. We've shot it well in the, in the conference tournament, which is why we're here. But all year we've been up and down. We've been one of the worst shooting teams in our league, which has plagued us at time. And so um, we just cooled off, you know, had nothing to do with our effort. I was really proud of our guys, our young men, our effort, our defense for the most part, even though we were supposed to guard 25 a little better and stay on 21. But other than that, I was, I was really proud of our guys, and, and they just got hot. But then in the second half, their other guys started making shots. You know, we're keying on the big kid inside and trying to stay with, with, the, with the main shooter, and their other guys made some timely shots to really open it up. And uh, we just couldn't, once they got a little, little cushion, we couldn't really cut it back to, you know, get it back to 10 and try to get back into the game. But we fought, and um, they, they made open shots in the second half, and we didn't. But that run, in the first half was big. We got up 12 and I think, what, seven minutes left or something like that and had control of the game and just let them get back in it too quick. Chris, as, as down as you are right now, I mean, how proud are you of the run you guys made just to get here? I'm, I'm very proud of my guys. Uh, we're the underdogs. Nobody expected us to be here. Nobody expected us to win the GAC, but we did. We, we fought. We fought very hard, and I'm very proud of my guys because we left it all on the court. <coughs> During the season, during the postseason, and we know what what it takes. You know, next year we really know what it takes. So it's just fuel to our fire now. So, coach, kind of same question to you. The run you guys made. Man, I'm I'm super proud of these guys. I told them we we were three and nine at one point. We had a tough non-conference, no home games. Maybe the only team in the nation with no home games, and um, it's tough. It's tough when you're playing on the road all the time. And uh, hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna change that next year. But um, we got off to a bad start. Uh, we had a couple good players that couldn't play for a few games. And I think once we got Damian back, he got hurt and somebody else was sick. And we went through a lot all year. Nobody knows what this group went through. So for them to come together, and, and mainly in January, February, I told them we probably should have lost one game from January from January 6th on, we probably should have lost one game. We, we pretty much outplayed everyone, and we just found ways to lose. So we started talking about finding ways to win, and that's what started happening toward the end of the season, particularly in the, in the conference championship, conference tournament. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.